Hello, welcome back to Hitman. Agent 47 is back and I hope you're wearing your sneaking shoes because it's time to get stealthy. So I'm a huge fan of stealth games. It's probably my favorite genre with classics like Metal Gear Solid and Deus Ex being uh, some of my all-time favorite games. So let's jump in and see what Hitman 2 has to offer us. So also a big thanks to Warner Brothers Games for uh, giving me an early access code, which is how I can get this early sneak peek to you guys. The story so far. Now here we go, a Agent recap. 47 and his handler, Diana Burnwood, are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. When oh, all yeah. of their recent missions turn out to be contracts for a shadow client, things take an unexpected turn. Oh. All their targets have been operatives in an invisible organization known as Providence. Providence has infiltrated the highest echelons of power and secretly owns our world. The Shadow Client wages a silent war against them. And so the Constant, Providence's enigmatic controller, seeks Diana out. His request, track down and eliminate the Shadow Client. In return, he offers something irresistible. The truth of 47's lost origins. Oh, spicy. Neither know that the man they hunt is 47's childhood friend. And unlike oh. 47, he remembers everything. Oh, those horns. I love the soundtrack. It's like a real James Bond kind of style to this game. So we've been killing an organization that was kind of evil. And then the guys that we were killing are saying, hey, well, no, 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 don't kill us. Kill the other guy. So now we're killing the other guy? In return, they're going to tell us where Agent 47 comes from. So if you've seen the movie, Agent 47, which is, I guess, based on Hitman? Yeah, I think it pretty much is. You'll understand uh, where we come from already. But immediately, we're thrown into this beautifully gorgeous graphical world, and we're on a beach. Not exactly the greatest place to be stealthy, a beach, because you leave footprints. Pretty obvious. At the location. No hostile presence. Understood. Alma Reynard's house is just up the beach. Our intel indicates that she and her team are laying low, most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Client's top lieutenants, and yet she's not a target. Not yet, anyway. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the Shadow Client. Up for some B&E, 47. On my way. Okay, so it's a classic smash and grab, break and enter. It looks like the house is pretty empty, so we don't really have to hide from guards. Can we shuffle through this shrubbery? Oh, you can. And we get like a weird outline, which I guess suggests that we're hidden. Now, this is the intro, so this is never going to be as clear-cut as it looks. We're going to break into that house and something bad is going to happen. I just know it. So let's see what's going on. Hold control to use instinct. I remember this. It's like wall hacks. So I see there's nobody around. So I want to dodge the camera. Equip my pistol. Good aim. Now... According to the local home security provider, the house is equipped with multiple cameras placed around the perimeter. I suggest you get rid of them, 47. All right, easy cheese. So we're looking for cameras. We're going to shoot them down. Oops. There he is. Perfect. Okay, all cameras down. We can move in. But how are we going to move in? Let's go in through the bottom. Sweep and clear, bottom to top. Oh man, look at that reflection. Looking good. Do some squats. Gotta stay in shape if you're an international hitman. Oh, what's this? Short circuit the signal box if we have a screwdriver. Don't have that. It's gotta be this way. This is the only way in. Ah, look, something on the floor. We, how do we miss that? Screwdriver. Okay, let's short circuit this sucker. Zip, zip, zip. And now we should be able to open the garage door. Perfect. Oh. Bodies. Male and female. Oh Early man, what's going on in here? Executed. I see them. Oh, poor bastards. Looks like Reynard's grisly handiwork all right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. The house is registered to a non-existing environmental NGO. This feels more like identity theft. Like you, Reynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now. Man, so who's this Reynard guy? And I thought he was a Hearthstone player, but he seems to have 
quit to become an international kind of killer? All right, coast looks clear so far. Nothing on instinct. There's a propane flask there, but we don't need that. It could be good to blow someone up with, though. So we just make our way through the house and continue with the mission. This is the next room. It sounds like someone's in, unless someone's left the TV on. No, no one's in. Fair enough. What's this? Security alarm? Can we turn this off? Close the window blinds. Yeah, that's a good shout. So no one can see what's going on. That said, though, now we can't see who's around the house. So that's a bit dangerous. So we've got a vodka bottle. We can poison the vodka glass. That's one way to kill somebody. But there is, again, nobody around to poison. Let's turn the TV off. Oh, much better. Okay, now I can concentrate. Now, if you're au okay with the Hitman games, if you're, if you're, ooh, scissors, take those. If you're used to the Hitman games, you'll know the secrets all over these, all over these maps. Rat poison, yes, okay. Let's poison the glass first, just in case someone arrives and pours himself a drink. Boom. Oh man, I've missed this game! So yeah, there's usually several ways to kill whoever you're supposed to kill. Usually each mission has a, has a target. And you can snipe them, you can stab them, you can drop a crane on them, you can electrocute them. There's usually all kinds of ways to dispatch your foes. Man, I keep seeing my reflection and freaking out. <laughs> uh oh. Interesting! Right, so the bathroom ventilation system is broken. And it's dispatching air all around the house. So if we can put some gas into the bathroom ventilation system, we can poison the whole house. Good tip. Thanks, repair guy. Let's just raid his PC. Let's f see what he's been looking at. Check his history. Oh, very good. Oh, I see you've been watching Yogscast videos. Hmm. Assuming there's a key, Reynard wouldn't just leave it lying around. No, but it might be behind this picture. Wait. According to the floor plan, the room you're in should be a lot bigger. There might be a concealed space behind the wall. Check for yes. hidden panels, 47. Yes. Classic, classic hitman here. Secret entrances abound. This Ooh. Be interesting. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> Let's take some frag grenades. Don't mind if I do. Some shurikens. What the hell? That's a new one. A samurai sword. Yes. Oh, I like this tranquilizer gun. That sounds pretty cool. But we're going to keep the lethal options still on the rack because um, I like being sneaky and stealthy in these games. Quick in, quick out. So destroy the evidence. We were never here. There's usually a bonus on each mission for destroying the evidence and security cameras. It's a lockpick. That'll come in very handy. And a password okay. dongle. For the office computer, no doubt. Okay, so let's... Ha God, that, that reflection is so so ominous. I keep seeing it thinking it's someone else. Hostile area. But there's no dudes. Okay, let's raid his floppies. I'm in. Hurry. I'm detecting movement up the road. A motorcade. Uh -huh. They're coming! The Hold on. Maybe Seeing we can use these now. grenades now. Although I want to hmm. stay super stealthy. Nothing on the shadow client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, here's something. A message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. No way! And by the sound of it, he's a Providence operative. A defector. Oh my god! Well, well, well. Client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Multiple hostiles. Oh my Seven. god, why is there six Damn. cars? Okay. What is he having like a get. dinner party? Go to stage two forty seven. Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the shadow client for once. Let's keep it that way. Alright. So we should be good. I poisoned that glass, so fingers crossed, he's gonna pour himself a cocktail. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the yeah, team. Yeah, well, I say stick to what you know. <laughs> it looks like an old Harry in a, in a suit with that top knot. Okay, so is that Raynad? Which one's Raynad? I thought he was blonde. Welcome home, Alma and Gap. Okay, pour Orson. yourself a drink. Uh-oh. The guards are coming around the house. Better be careful. Yeah, he's going over. He's going to pour himself a drink. Yes. Is that our target? 
Yeah, it is. Look at this. The setup is real. Is he pouring himself a drink? Go on, you know you want to. It's been a tough night, mate. It's been a super tough night. Is he drinking it straight from the bottle? Now he's pouring himself a drink. Yes! Yes! Now you die. Oh, what's wrong with me? Oh, I'm going to be sick. Okay, so how do I stop hugging the wall? It must be a button, right? I can't stop hugging this wall. What the hell? I can't stop hugging the wall. What? I don't even. I, <laughs> how do I stop hugging the wall? What's going on? I just. I give up. I give up. Oh man. Okay, so my Logitech gaming uh, gaming software had uh, enabled some kind of uh, auto hit button. So this guy's doing a sweep of upstairs, but I like being upstairs, so we're just going to hide in the bin until this guy goes around. Super sneaky. Oh man, flashbacks to how long it took me to actually record the original Hitman playthrough. So I had to reload so many times. Sometimes it would take me about two to three hours to do one episode. It was nuts, but... The payoff was good. This is why stealth games are amazing. It's, it's all about lying in wait. It's about patience. It's about the long game. Not the short game, but the long game. No one's looking? What's this thing? Close the window blinds. We could do that. Probably a good idea, because then we can push that guy. Let's go see if we can knock this guy out. So what are our options when we come behind this guy? Okay, cue to subdue. Bam, 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 and he's out. Okay, and no one is coming around to look for him, but I think we can probably hide him somewhere. Let's just drag him this way. So every non-target that you kill reduces your score a little bit. So you don't want to take out too many people. Also, this guy will wake up at some point. So we have to finish the mission before he does. Otherwise, he's going to know there's an assassin in the house. So we can dump him over the edge. Perfect. <laughs> Off you go. Body hidden. Sure, I'll take it. Very poorly hidden, but that's fine. Okay, we're back in the house. Mooching around. Has that guy found a body? No, I think he just walked straight past it. What's this? Examine the kidnapping plan. Hmm. Appears Reynard's cell is launching another strike. Those are sewer maps of a residential area in Wellington. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Our priority is the shadow client. So we've got to take her out. So her patrol leads her upstairs over there. We have to find out what's over there. Is there a way around here? No. And that guard will see us if we get too close. He's, uh... Whoa, is he taking his clothes off? What's going on here? Oh la la. Oh my god, she's getting ready for bed. Perfect, if she goes to sleep, we can take her out. Okay, sneak in while they're distracted. The old lockpick maneuver. Well, this is all good. <laughs> Okay, so we're back on the case. We're doing exactly the same thing as last time. We're sneaking around. We've already discovered everything we need to. But we are going to continue sneaking around to get the perfect kill. We want the perfect kill. Oh my god, he's got no clothes on. Oh my, can they see me in the mirror? You know what, I'll think of some more while I go and brush my teeth. Fine. I'm gonna hit the shower. You do that, Orson. So she's gonna brush her teeth. He's gonna hit the shower. Oh man, <laughs> what's with those pants? An interesting style choice. Now I do think I have some chloroform, right? That was in my bag of tricks. Did I pick it up? Oh no, I never picked it up. It was downstairs. So, maybe we could just use the old, uh, fiber wire. 
a timeless classic for the hitman about town. Okay, you're showering. You probably can't see this. Is there anything else around this room I can use? What's this over here? A squeaky toy. Is she done? Don't tread on me. All oh, right, so if we tread on that squeaky toy, I think we'd be in trouble. So I think they're both in bed now. Well, that's that. Smoke on the balcony? Yeah, sure. How about a scotch? No, I just brush my teeth. Oh, well, suit yourself. I'm having one before bed then. Good for the blood flow. Oh man, this guy's working out before he goes to bed. I admire that. So she's going to the balcony, which is time to push. Ooh. He's going for a scotch. This is our chance. We can make it look like an accident, make it look like she fell off. Why is he going out? Come on, man, put some pants on. I need you to do something for me. Okay. What's the gig? It's a cakewalk, really. I just need you and the boys to pick up a shipment in Brussels three days from now. A truckload of cutting edge. Lethal poison pill jar. So she isn't going to have a cocktail, but he's going to have a scotch. So I don't really want to kill him. I've got to kill Alma. Is Alma the woman? I think so. So this would be a bad move. Oh, nice. A file. Some house keys. Useful. Window blinds. What's this over here? Pick up wristwatch alarm. Set ritual alarm. So I guess that's like a distraction. Oh, I love the depth of this game. It's such a good game. So many ways to... Oh, I feel like a kid in a candy store with just so many different ways to kill this woman. I mean, like, respectively, she's a bad guy. But still, I'm excited. Come on. Where's my chance? They finished their smoke. What are they going to do now? So he's having his scotch. We don't want to kill him. As long as he's happy. Here we go. It's time to push. Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. Excellent! Flawless! Nothing at my life. The body was found. We should be okay. How do we get off the property? I've got the house key, so I can go through the house if I want to. Maybe that's a good shout, actually. Oh, I'm in the main room now. It's wide open. But they're all going around that way. This looks like it's a way out, but it might not be. Oh, crap on a stick. I'm trapped. I'm pinned. Back this way. Oof, okay, they're walking around the roof, so I've got to be very careful. That guy, though, is... Going the other way. Should be okay if I sneak this way. I think I'm out. Do I have to get back to my boat? Oh, no, there's loads of security guards between me and the boat. But if I slip along the beach, I should be okay. I think my big mistake was letting them find the body. If they never found the body, I would have been fine. And to stop them from finding the body, I'd have to, I guess, take out more guards or make it look like an accident. I thought her falling would look like enough of an accident, but I might have to deal with these dudes down on the beach. Oh, the noose is closing in. Is he coming up here? No, I think I'm okay. Is this the way? I think this is the way. Oh, you can cut the tension with a knife. Oh no. He's coming straight for my bush. Not in a good way. Okay, I think we're good. Hmm. No way to get past them unnoticed. I suggest you cause a distraction, 47, and make it a loud one. Do I want to scope out that car? There's definitely something going on with that car. Let's see what I can do. I can get away with being quite close to these guys before they see me. 
It looks like there's a gas can there. So the moment of truth. What I'm going to try and do is shoot that gas can from far away. Whoa. Perfect. While well, these guys are distracted, I can sneak in. Oh man, pretty good score for my first try. There's a guy over on the beach, but he's pretty far away from the boat. And under the cover of night, I should be okay. I don't think he's gonna see me. Perfect, all right, it's time to make our getaway. Man, so the first mission, the tutorial, not that bad, pretty good opener. But how do I get out? Here we go, exit the mission. We're out. We managed to kill her without killing any of her cronies. We did it silently. The body was discovered, but I think it's always meant to be discovered because it teaches you how to escape properly. Oh man, opening first mission in the bag. Boom, boom, unseen assassin and infiltrator. I think that's a pretty good score for us. But the most, the best part about these missions is looking back at all the different things you could have done. So are you suit only, silent assassin, the mastermind. Someone could discover Hawks Bay. So I've got 24,000 XP, but there's so many extra ways to do this mission. And there's clues in the pictures here. So there's a shower, which means I guess kill her while he's in the shower. Could be one, kill her in bed. Uh, I don't know what that picture means. Maybe, oh, disguises as well. Disguises are a big thing. If you can knock someone out, you can take their clothes and disguise. That would have been pretty cool. I mean, I reckon I could have pulled off his um, underwear look in disguise. You can also use a sniper rifle for a sniper kill. But I think we've got some pretty solid, uh, solid achievements there. Silent Assassin, boom. So Silent Assassin's a big one. Without being seen, getting out without being detected is a very big score bonus. And these score bonuses help you later on to kind of unlock different ways to replay the mission. Different spawn points, different gear that you can start with. You can uh, always do a mission better with a higher score and a bit more finesse. And as you can see, as you kind of unlock different locations, like we reached the shack, Hawks Bay, the ICA can smuggle a briefcase containing a large item inside of an old boathouse on the beach. So if we wanted to right now, we could reload that mission, put a sniper rifle in this shack, go there, pick up the sniper rifle, shoot the lady when she comes out for a smoke, easy done, sniper, sniper victory, and uh, get some more points. But what else? The garbage container, they can hide a small item inside the garbage container. That could be useful. We could put some poison there, perhaps. Proximity explosive, always fun to use. <laughs> I think I, I think I killed some of the guys in the uh, in the last Hitman game with some remote C4 just for the lols. Well, thank you for watching this episode of Hitman. This was the first mission, a little teaser for what's to come. But I want to keep playing through this game, so make sure you, if you want to see more Hitman, hit like and subscribe because I want to be playing through this game completely. I love I love Hitman to bits, and I've got such a pedigree of playing it on my channel. I think ever since uh, Absolution, I've played every single Hitman game and every single mission. Except the uh, the special contracts from uh, the last Hitman game, but I've played all of them, and I'm going to play this one all the way through, regardless. I'm going to slot into the schedule and put this out maybe twice, three times a week, because I want to get this game done, and I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next episode of Hitman 2. Until then, take care.